receive god's love thank you for joining me today god is love he loves us we do not have to earn god's love he loves us in christ jesus his love endures forever god hates sin and his desire is for sinners to repent God loved the world so much that he sent his only begotten son so that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. That is how much God loves us. He does not want us to perish. He wants us to repent and accept the gift of salvation that is ours through Christ Jesus. Most of us walk through life feeling unloved, unloved by relatives, unloved by friends, unloved even by total strangers. In an effort to feel loved, we tend to do all sorts of things, things that we do to seek validation and acceptance. We think if we can only do this or say that people will love us. We think if we do and say what people say, if we adjust our lives to accommodate others, if we do and say as others do and say, we think if we do such things then we will feel loved. Love in this world is elusive. The love of many has grown cold. There is a lot of evil in the world to the extent that that some people do not believe in love anymore. People do not believe a person can love them just to love them without expecting anything in return. We live in a culture of give us this, we give you that. It seems like an exchange and even though unspoken in many instances it feels like people expect you to give them something in return when they offer you a certain thing there is nothing for free many people say even love there is so much brokenness in this world so much hate jealousy crimes envy strife betrayal and selfish competition people want what they want irrespective of the cost and irrespective of how many lives they destroy in the process we have reached a point where honest people are looked at with suspicion it looks as if people do not believe someone can actually be honest it seems like people do not believe there are those who love without expecting anything in return people live with each other with suspicion people stay with each other for wrong motives there are people who will enter your life and leave you in ruins We have become a people who take out our hearts on other people. Most of us walk through life without knowing who we are, without knowing our purpose, without knowing God as our father. Without a firm identity rooted in God, we look for all ways to fill the voids we have within us. We go to people pleasures wealth fame and power we look externally towards other people and things instead of looking up and within when we get saved we accept christ as lord and savior from that moment moving forward christ lives within us galatians 2 verse 20 says For I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live but Christ who lives in me 
and the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. In Christ we have life. In Christ we are loved. We are not saved because of our works, but by grace through faith. There is nothing we can ever do to earn God's love. We are not capable of that. That is why God sent his son, so that through him we are made righteous, clothed with the righteousness of Christ. We only have to receive God's love. He loves us. We only have to receive that love. The Bible says that God is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness. God is very patient with us. Even when we were still sinners, Christ died for us. His love endures forever. 1 John 3 verse 1 says, See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him. We have to reach a point in our lives where we know God as our Father, a Father who loves us with unconditional love. We are not meant to go looking for love in the world. The world does not know what love is. In the world, you will be told to compromise. You will be told you have to earn someone's love. Nothing in this world satisfies. Nothing in this world lasts forever. God remains. God loves those who love him, and those who seek him diligently will find him. When we seek God with all our hearts, minds, and soul, we will find him. We will come to know personally how much he loves us. It is us who move away from God, not him who moves away from us. James 4 verse 8 says, Draw nigh to God and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. When we seek God, we find him. God loves us. Be blessed.